Today we are going to go over everything needed to build a great sounding Dolby Atmos home theater audio system for under 900 US dollars. All the products that we'll be talking about today, I bought them. This is not a sponsored video and I have all those speakers, receivers, subwoofer and everything right here in front of you. So let's get started. Before we jump into speakers and receivers and everything else, let's talk about Dolby Atmos specifications and standards. The two most popular Dolby Atmos configurations are the 7.1.2 and the 5.1.2. For this video, we will be using an example of the 5.1.2 because it uses two less speakers. It still sounds pretty good, but we're saving the money with two less speakers. So what does 5.1.2 mean? Five it is the number of standard speakers in the configuration. So there will be two front speakers, front left, front right. There will be a center channel speaker, which in my opinion is the most important speaker in a home theater. And then we have the two rear speakers, the rear left and the rear right. So that comprises the five speakers in the 5.1.2. Two front, one in the center and two in the rear, five speakers. Next is the dot one in the 5.1.2. That dot one, it denotes the subwoofer. And we will go over why a subwoofer is important in a home theater system. And last but not the least, the dot two, it is the height speakers or two additional speakers that will give yet another dimension to your audio in the home theater. So that is the 5.1.2. On the Dolby Atmos website, you can see that the two front speakers, the front left and right, are placed next to the screen or your TV and there is the center channel which is responsible to deliver most of the movie dialogues and then there are two rear speakers there's also two height speakers which are placed overhead Dolby Atmos website also has certain angles and perfect positions that you can place these speakers in to quickly summarize the five refers to the standard five speakers in the traditional surround sound setup three in the front the left, center and right, and two in the rear, the left and right. The one refers to a subwoofer, which handles the low frequency sound. The two in this configuration refers to the two height speakers that are installed above the listener to create a more immersive audio sound experience. With this configuration, sounds can be placed and moved in three dimensional space, including vertically to create a more realistic and immersive sound experience. This means that you can hear sounds coming from above, like a helicopter flying over there or rain falling on a rooftop. It is important to note that the specific configuration that is best for your home theater will depend on the size and shape of your room. A 5.1.2 setup is a great way to start enjoying the benefits of Dolby Atmos, but larger setups like the 7.1.2 may be necessary for larger rooms. These are all the speakers, receiver, and subwoofer that we are going to talk about today. This right here, it is the front speaker. It comes in a pair due to space limitations. I only have one of them displayed here. This right here is the center channel speaker. This is the subwoofer. The black one right there, it is the height speaker. It's a Sony. And then next to it is the rear speaker. So that also comes in a pair. Let's take a look at all these speakers without the grill so you get an idea of what they look like. Here we go. So here's what they look like without the grill. I found some good deals for many of these speakers today on Amazon. These prices could change. I'll post links to my website in the description which will lead you to Amazon. Those are affiliate links which means if you buy through them, I will get a small commission but you don't have to. You can find them on Amazon yourself. But these prices are valid today and they could be lower or higher tomorrow. The Yamo speakers are on sale today for $147. It includes this center channel speaker two of these front speakers and two of those rear speakers. So that is a great deal to get started on your home theater. For $147, you will have the center, the front and the rear covered. Those Yamo speakers, they come in a set. The set is called Yamo Studio Series S803. All these speakers have fully magnetic grills. They don't have any mounting holes or push pins. They have large woven pattern linen grills 
and they create a visual interest with heavy texture and come in two unique colors. This one is the white color. There is a 3 inch taper on the cabinet which accentuates the slim design aesthetic of these speakers. So in this set you will receive one Yamo Studio Series S803 and this is in the white color. It will also come with dual S803 Dolby Atmos ready bookshelf speakers. It is Dolby Atmos ready because you could place an up firing speaker on top of it. We are not going to do that. We are just going to use them as front left and right bookshelf speakers. This set also includes two S801 speakers for surround sound. These are the speakers we will be using for the rear left and right. And this one right here is the Yamo S810 Sub. This is by Klipsch. So on Amazon website, you will see that this is titled as Klipsch speaker. This subwoofer has a 10 inch polyfiber woofer. It is a 150 watts bottom mounted class D amplifier. The cabinet is pretty slim. The frequency response of this subwoofer is 36 to 180 Hertz. It has a built in class D amplifier that delivers 75 watts of continuous power with 150 watts peak. It has a 10 inch side firing polyfiber woofer. The face switch has a 0 and 180. It has an auto on and off. The input controls are located on the bottom of the enclosure and there's a 90 degree power and LFE cables which are included. This S810 subwoofer is originally $379. Right now it is on sale on Amazon, sold by Amazon for $199. So that is 47% off. The price may change tomorrow, but right now that is the price. Now let's talk about this Sony SSCSE height speakers. These are at an angle. So if you place them on a ceiling, it can be angled towards the listener. The four inch mica reinforced cellular woofer delivers great audio quality. Right now, these Sony SSCSC speakers, they are 38% off on Amazon. Usually they are $199. Right now they are on sale for $123. And on the Amazon site, it says lowest price in last 30 days. With that, we have covered the front speakers, the center channel speaker, the rear speaker, the subwoofer, and the height speaker. Let's add all that up to see where we are in terms of price. The front, center, and the rear, they came as a set of five speakers and they are $147. The sub is on sale for $200. So that adds up to $147 plus $200, which is $347. The Sony height speaker is also a pair. They are on sale for $123. So that adds up to $470. And next, let's talk about the receiver. I have the Sony STR-DH790 receiver and usually it is $450. Right now it is 12% off for $398. Let's call it $400. So that adds up to $470 for all the speakers plus $400 for the receiver. So that is $870 USD for all our speakers, subwoofer and the receiver. Let's talk about the Sony STR-DH790 receiver. This supports Dolby Atmos. It supports 4K HDR and also supports Bluetooth. The Sony STR-DH790 receiver is rated at a power of 145 watts per channel and there are seven channels. It supports HDCP 2.2 and it has advanced DCAC audio calibration which means a microphone is supplied with the receiver. You just have to hook up all the speakers and then attach the microphone, place the microphone at a seating position and the receiver will calibrate all the speakers and their volume levels so you don't have to do all the work and the receiver calibrates all the speakers and then your home theater will be ready to go. It has 7.2 channels which is perfect for the configuration we are looking for. So that includes the five speakers and the one subwoofer plus the two height speakers. This receiver also supports eARC, which stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel. It is a feature of the HDMI 2.1 standard that allows for higher quality audio to be transmitted over HDMI cables between devices such as TVs, soundbars, and AV receivers. Overall, the eARC is a significant improvement 
in quality over ARC, providing higher quality audio and a more immersive audio experience. I'll make a separate video on this Sony receiver and we will go over all the specifications, connections, ports and settings in detail. So please consider subscribing so you will be notified of any new videos I will be making. In the beginning of the video, I showed you this speaker right here. This is a center channel speaker. It is by JBL. I did a very comprehensive review and unboxing on this speaker. The link is right here if you want to take a look at it. That will be a major upgrade to this center channel speaker. So that speaker is $250 plus dollars, around $250. But because the center channel is the most important speaker, that's where all the movie dialogues come from. That will be a very good upgrade. If you are able to wait and maybe spend around $400, I have a couple of other recommendations and those are linked here as well. One is the SVS Prime Center. The unboxing is right here. And I also recommend the Monoprice Monolith THX365C. That is also an excellent center channel speaker. The link to it is right here. That is around $449. Basically, the center channel can be replaced later once you decide to upgrade that would be the first thing I would upgrade and then instantly your home theater movie dialogues and sound is going to be much better. One question you may have is can any of these speakers or the subwoofer be skipped to save some money? The answer is yes and no. If you skip any of these speakers and if you take them out of your configuration that will affect the quality of the sound. For example the height speakers if you take them out the helicopter is not going to sound like it is overhead. The subwoofer is also very important and I'll tell you why. Subwoofers are designed to reproduce low frequency sounds, typically below 100 Hz. These low frequency sounds are important for many types of music and movie soundtracks. There are several reasons to use a subwoofer in a home theater system. Number one is better sound quality. Subwoofers are designed to handle low frequency sounds, which allows other speakers in the configuration to focus on higher frequency sounds. This can result in better overall sound quality. Second benefit of having a subwoofer is improved bass response. Subwoofers can produce a bass sound that other speakers cannot, typically at much lower frequencies. Other speakers will have to do a lot of hard work to produce that sound. Number three is reduce distortion. By offloading some of those low frequency sound from all your other speakers to your subwoofer, you are making sure that there is less distortion in the sound and there is better clarity in audio. And then lastly, flexibility. Unlike other speakers which have to be at a certain position according to Dolby Atmos, your subwoofer can be placed anywhere in the room depending on how best the sound quality is. So you can place a subwoofer wherever you think it sounds the best. So that gives you a little bit more flexibility with the placement and the quality of the sound. So overall, I recommend not to take your subwoofer out of the equation. This guy does a lot of work and helps out the other speakers. If you really, really want to take something out of the configuration, I would recommend choosing the high speakers for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and this video was useful to you. If it was useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up and to get more videos and notifications of all my other center channel speakers and audio reviews and unboxings, please subscribe. I leave a link to the playlist of all center channel speaker reviews that I have done so far. It is right here. It has the SVS Prime Center, the Monoprice Polk T30, BIC America. It has the JBL 520C and all kinds of center channel speaker reviews. So check it out. It is right here. Until next time, take care. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the thumbs up and likes and subscriptions. 